as you know, I have been asked to talk about Iran and the BR, BNR, a cultural perspective of strategic cooperation in order, in order to facilitate, facilitate the discussion. I intended uh, on the catching four points in my presentation. First, um, uh, explain the BNR and its cultural mechanism. Second, glance uh, at the China and Iran relations in the cultural and historical context. Third, BNR and cultural development between China and Iran. Fourth, uh, an Iranian, an Iranian perspective on BNR and the cultural exchanges between the two countries. Uh, BNR and its objectives. According to BNR portal, currently 71 countries are taking part in the initiative, representing more than a third of the world GDP and two thirds of the world's population. In favor of the initiative, China is attempting to create a form of China Central Convergence based on the five pillars, policy coordination, facility, and uh, financial trade, and the people-to-people -people bonds among a broad spectrum uh, countries, of countries. Some estimates indicated that in the context of the, this initiative, about uh, one trillion dollar will be invested in the different projects in the broad range of the countries. Um, what is the cultural mechanism in the BNR? To a people-to-people -people bond. People-to-people uh, -people bond is identified by action plan on the Build and Road Initiative. Action plan as a one of the five major cooperation priorities within the Belt and the Road, which is supposed to provide the public support to the BNR. Understanding the spirit of the BNR comprehensively improved the openness in culture, adhering to the concept of the cooperation based on the surrounding, radiating the BNR global oriented and the build a community a share destiny with the cultural integration focus on the achieving following objectives. To strengthen exchanges and communication with the people around the BNR based on the BNR principles. Increasing exchanges and the cooperation between non governmental organizations of countries along the build and the road. Organizing public interest activities concerning healthcare, education, poverty reduction, and ecological protection. For the benefit of the general public, China hopes that BNR will bring opportunities for trade, tourism, cultural and educational exchanges, and ensure friendly relationship between the countries. Um, I, want, I would like to mention about the six main ways to promoting of the cultural activities in, and they, in, uh, in the PNR. According to cultural officials and the experts' views on the Chinese website, China needs to situate BNR strategy and the fostering people-to-people -people connection by these below items. First, education and cultural cooperation. China follows the educational education action plan for jointly, jointly building the BNR and has provided government scholarship for 10,000 students from countries along the BNR each year. In addition, since the launch of the BNR, uh, China has held 20 cultural 
exchange events, for example, cultural years with the countries along the BNR, and sign 42 action plan on the cultural exchanges or other intergovernmental cooperation agreements. By the end of the 2019, China had built 30 Chinese cultural centers and set up a Confucius, uh, Confucius centers in the country around the BNR. China has held important events such as the Silk Road International Cultural Expo, Silk Road International Art Festival, and many times Silk Road International Art Festival. China uh, in foreign aid, China in the foreign aid uh, also has a restored cultural sites such as the Taiko Temple of Anko, Cambodia, and Ichen Kala, ancient city of the Khiva uh, Khorasan in the Uzbekistan, and provided aid for post restoration of cultural places in the Nepal and Myanmar. It has also applied to have many times Sikro listed as an item of world cultural heritage. Um, second, cooperation in science and technology. The Chinese government has signed 46 inter uh, intergovernmental agreements on the scientific and technological cooperation with the countries along the BNR, covering various various fields such as agriculture, life, science, information, technology, environmental protection, new energy, scientific and technological development, and innovation management. China has built a platform to boost in innovation, cooperation, including joint laboratories, international technology transfer centers, and the science parts to facilitate the building of the BNR with the science and technology, China has a build. China South Asia Technology Transfer Center and China Arab Nation Technology Transfer Center. China has also improved the mechanism for scientific, technological, and the cultural exchanges. In 2016, along more than 100 researchers from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Mongolia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Egypt, Syria, conducted scientific research in China through the talented young scientists program. Third, cooperation in tourism. To, to a scale of Tourist cooperation, China is holding tourist year events with the countries along the BNR and conducting tourist promotion and exchanges. By holding events such as World Conference on the Development of the Tourism, the Tourism Ministerial Meeting of the Countries along Silk Road Economic Bill. China South Asian countries tourism ministerial meeting, the China Russia Mongolia tourism ministerial meeting, and the China ASEAN senior tourist officials meeting. China and related countries have formed a tourist cooperation mechanism under BNR at the different levels and in the different regions. To promote the tourist brands, China has a whole the sea road tourism year for the last three years. Founded the China Alliance for Sea Road Tourism Pro Promotion, many times Sea Road Tourism Promotion Alliance and the Al Alliance and the China Russia Mongolia T Road International Tourism Alliance and cooperation on the export is also bombing. Fourth, cooperation on healthcare. On the bill and role, China try 
to promoting cooperation among the related countries in preventing and controlling of the contagions, disease, medical systems and policies, health care capacity, capacity building, personal training and exchange, and traditional medicine. China and related countries have published the China Central and Eastern European countries' prior declaration on health cooperation and the development and also non-ning declaration and china ASEAN health cooperation and develop and implemented 41 program including the china africa cooperation plan and the public health and china ASEAN plan and the training and the 100 health 100 health professional professionals China has promoted exchanges and cooperation in traditional medicine with the countries along the BNR, founded 16 overseas traditional Chinese medicine centers, including one of them in the Czech Republic and the signed Chinese medicine cooperation agreement with the 15 countries. The Chinese agreement signed the MOU on the health sector cooperation under the BNR with the World Health Organization, so as to be the healthy Silk Road. China has also set up a medical center for Silk Road economic build in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region to provide medical services to the countries in the Central Asia. See, people to people exchanges is the core of the, this. Uh, mechanics, cultural mechanics. China has conducted uh, mutual visa free agreements with the 71 countries along the BNR, including Pakistan, Russia, the Philippines, the Philippines, and the Serbia, and the completed 19 agreement on the simplified, simplifying visa. Procedures, uh, procedures with the 15 countries, including Kazakhstan, Czech Republic of Nepal, 22 countries such as United Arab Emirates, Iran, and Thailand have provided Chinese citizens with the privilege of the visa to enter or visa on arrival. Six non governmental exchanges and cooperation. China and other BNR countries have conducted exchanges and cooperation in the diverse forms between political parties, parliaments, and the localities, as well as NGO, to enhance mutual understanding between the peoples of the different countries and to build the extensive um, consensus on BNR cooperation. China has both the experience think tank exchanges and the cooperation initiated the international sea group think tank association chinese government set up the center south south cooperation and development at the peking beijing university as a platform for developing countries to share government experience and train high level government officials in addition, the Development Research Center for the State Council and the relevant think tank of the other PNR countries launched the Silk Road Think Tank Network, an international network for think tank cooperation. Media cooperation has been expanded through media form and exchanges of visits, such as sharing of the report joint interview and cooperative training and the training program. Moreover, China has a promoted exchanges on the issue concerning youth startups and the employment, as well as ideas and experience regarding social justice and the progress. In addition, non-governmental exchanges and the cooperation activities in the various fields are complementary to governmental cooperation, building public support for BNR.
in searching another item is that about the soft power in the DR, DNR. Under of the in searching for soft power in the DNR. In the view of the Chinese scholar, culture plays in the crucial role in the BNR, and cultural exchanges are the foundation through which multinational cooperation can be strengthened in the all aspects. Cultural exchange can done through communication, which is two-way process for China. The first is the separate, the separate of the actual image of Chinese culture for better understanding of China. And second is uh, to gather up different culture under the umbrella of the joint initiative that boosts cultural interaction and mutual understanding, which is done throughout the BNR. According to Chinese scholars, BNR cultural dimension, cultural dimension seeks to emphasize respect for the history culture and civilization all of the countries in the world, particularly those taking part in BNR. Cooperation among BNR participants is based on the principle of the respect for all of the cultural differences in the implementing the concept of the shared destiny for humanity and cultural change. Since the BNR was launched in 2013. China has been working hard on the bringing BNR related countries and the organizations together through joint cultural activities, mostly involving developing countries. A lot of 108 documents were signed between China and the BNR participants from 2013-2018, involving bilateral cooperation in the culture and tourism. Growing collaboration among cultural organization in the BNR participants led to establishing international alliance of the theaters, museums, and festivals and libraries, such as international alliance of museums of the Silk Road and the Silk Road International Leg of the Theatres. Chinese scholars believe that BNR helps promote a new global cultural exchange and communication model based on the mutual respect, equality, win-win partnership, joint development, and collective work. They state that everyone is proud of their own culture. If we respect the values of and culture of each other, the whole world will be in harmony. Effective factors for Silk Road in China and Iran ties. Another page of the PowerPoint. The effective factors of Silk Road in China and Iran ties. To understanding of Iran-China cooperation in BNR, it is necessary to look to the past because the main symbol of this historical ties is the ancient Silk Road. I want to make some points on the effective factors on China and Iran relations and the Chinese people. One is history. The history of Iran, China and Iran cultural relations dates back to some 2,600 years ago. The Silk Road played a crucial role in the immediate trade and cultural relationship between the two nations. Even though the prime function of Silk Road was to promote the trade, it was significantly an essential factor in the development of civilization and the exchange of the thoughts and the reconciliation of cultures that were 
comparatively more effective in the promoting the relations between nations. We can perceive that Silk Road not only linked the cities, cities like Xi'an, the starting point of the Silk Road, and the Isfahan in, in Iran for trade, but also facilitated the exchanges of the ideas, science, education, intellectual conversation. The relationship between China and Iran has a common in history with the old and the new Silk Road projects and the BNR. Indeed, culture conducts and the mutual influence influence throughout the Silk Road have been robust throughout the centuries. Culture. Two culture. The glance at the history of relations between the Iran and the China revealed the Iranian personalities, thought and the books have played a significant role in the pyramid of the mutual perception and interactions between China and Iran. Personalities like Sayyid Muhammad, Shaban Jang, Khi, Shaban Jang, Khi, and Sheikh Ajal Shamsuddin, Sheikh Ajal Shamsuddin, and such books, such as books and the historical places as the Parsi village, Zaytun Gate, and the city. Chuanju reflected upon the role of Iranian in the growing trend of the cultural interaction between the, these two great nations. For example, Sayyid Ajal Omar Shamsuddin had an active role in the expansion of China-Iran relations and they made a lot of efforts for the unification of China in, in ancient times. Another example of such as prominent Iranian personalities was Muhammad ibn Hakim Isfahani, commonly known as the Zhong Ji Zhong, John Imin, who had played a crucial role in the de development of the Chinese educational system in the olden times. In addition, research on the works and the contribution of the such personalities who had particularly laid down the foundation of the historical cultural relation and the, their expansion between the Iran and China can prepare the ground for further convergence and proximity between two countries. Three, language. During the Mongol rulers of Iran, Persian became an international language in the Central and the West Asia, and the West considered an important instrument in its tools for uh, important tool for of diplomatic and political relations. After coming to power of the Ming Dynasty, Persia became main language used in the region and the uh, and and uh, and unimportant in history of the relation in the Southeast Asia. Moreover, the first collection of the Chinese to Persian vocabularies in the name of the Hui Hui Guan Yu was uh, collected during the Yuan and the Ming period to learn Persian. This collection is one of the most uh, valuable documents for research in the Chinese Muslims uh, social history. It also provides real insight into relations between Iran and the China. From a linguistic point of view, these documents help to reveal the statues of the Persian language in the history of the China and the role of the Persian transcription with the Chinese world. The clarification of the certain aspects of the Persian grammar in Chinese also handy tool for a scholar in the determining Persian book that have enter into Chinese religious and the historical scripts. 
From historical perspective, all the letters have historical credibility, and these documents reflect the relationship between China and Central and the Western Asia during the Ming Dynasty. Some of the letters also reveal the political relationship of the Ming Dynasty with Islam. Moreover, in the course of the, their history, Iranians have always produced value declaring both. During the Tang and the Song dynasties, Iranians had the profound influence on literature and uh, literature that can be uh, found in the Buddhist texts. Buddhist texts. Five religion. One of the most important aspects of the relationship between Iran and the China in the ancient times is religion, which has not been addressed independently so far. According to Chinese sources, all the major religions of China, except Taoism and the Confucianism, are non indigenous And other religions, such as Buddhism, Zoroastrianism, Nestorianism, and the Manichaeanism, and Islam, all are from outside China. These religions were brought to China by Iranian elites. Apart from expanding of Iranian religions in China, Iranian elites have a play and an essential role in the introducing non-Iranian faces, including Christianity, to the Chinese people. For example, in the second century BC, some Parthians, Buddhists, Buddhists immigrated to China for several centuries. They persisted in China in translating Buddhist texts into Chinese. I want to add here expansion and decline of the religions and the, their interaction with the Chinese culture and the mutual influence on the one another can be important areas of research. Indeed, some studies research has already been conducted on the interaction and relations between ancient Iranian religions and the Chinese territories, including Taiwan and Hong Kong. In the 20th century, many discoveries about the ancient Iranian beliefs were made in the north and the northwest region of China by resorting to modern techniques in the, these discoveries. The Chinese scholars have arrived at the valuable and the exciting results on the historical, social, linguistic, and the art aspects of the, these religions. According to Chinese sources, as a pair available statistic, statistical data, more than 100 scientific research papers were written on the Nestorianism in China over 20 years between 1982 and 2000, looking at the, this re religion from different perspectives, like its history, expansion, and interaction with the Chinese culture. Our researches um, studies on the interaction and the relations between the uh, Zoroastrianism and the Chinese culture to focus on the inquiry of the this religion and expansion in China. Persian manuscripts discovered in the city of the Tupan or Turfan in the Xinjiang province. The development of the Zoroastrianism in the northwestern region of China influences of the Zoroastrianism on the people of China during the Tang Dynasty, a study of the Zoroastrianism on the rocks, uh, paintings, uh, paintings on the rock, including ones made in the Don Juan 
landscapes and the customs and the traditional about the death, funeral, and the burial ceremony observed by the Zoroastrianism uh, who are living in the China. Um, in, uh, about the Islam, I would, I would like to mention some points. In the regard to support of Islam, the China many sources revealed the Iranian played a significant role in the introduction of Islam and its spread in the China. Iranian traders and business people entered to the southeast and the northwest coast of uh, area, uh, northwest area of China throughout the land and the water routes. The Silk Road. Uh, their interaction with the people of the these areas gradually. Uh, resulted in the support of Islam in the region. With the Mongolian invasion of Central Asia in Europe, many of Muslims were forced to uh, migrate to Chinese land, a uh, phenomenon uh, that was the helpful in the support of Islam and Persian language in the areas in which they settled. The presence of the many few Persian words and phrases, as we mentioned already, in the informal uh, language of the Chinese Muslim undeniable uh, proof of the discovery. Uh, on the other hand, the existence of the name of the China Qin in the Persian, uh, in Iranian legend and the stories and the Shahnameh, the book of the kings of the Ferdowsi, as well as the entry of the specific Persian terms into Chinese language. And, uh, in the uh, of ancient economic and cultural relations, uh, relations between uh, the Chinese and Iranians. The Chinese Muslims use the Islam terms Nanaz and the Ruze in Persia instead of the Salat and the Su'a Arabic. They call the five daily prayers uh, Banda, Pishin, Digat, Shah. Of them, all of which are Persia. The words and the phrases used there in, them, in such religious practices as a prayer, ablution, uh, and, uh, and so on, uh, all in the Persia. Um, another item is about the BNR and the cultural development between China and Iran. Uh, while cultural exchanges between the China and Iran have fluctuated uh, uh, in quality throughout the past, they have uh, continuously improved the implementation uh, BNR. The cultural exchanges between China and Iran include the various official and non-governmental uh, interaction involving discussion on the culture, education, or science and technology, health, sport, religion, tourism, press, and the publication, radio, film, and television, academic research, and the other field. Um, I wanted to uh, some points on the culture access between the China and Iran. The academic interaction is very important. Uh, educa educational uh, exchange uh, is an essential subfield of the cultural exchange between the China and Iran. Therefore, during the last uh, two decades, signed eight MOU to sign agreed to continue to boost uh, cooperation in the field of the education and scientific research, encourage exchanges between the educational and the research centers of the two sides, strengthen and support exchanges between the Chinese and the Iran University. Over view on the development of the uh, Confucius centers by 2020, we realized that 541 uh, centers and 1,170 classrooms have been established in the 162 countries worldwide. Moreover, uh, uh, these centers, non-profit, and established by the Center for Language Education and Cooperation, originally uh, is Hanman, which uh, Chinese language teaching as a, the main activity content. It is its goals or its mission is to promote the Chinese language and the culture to both and to promote uh, cultural exchanges between all of the ethnic groups. In December 2015, uh, the Confucius Center at the University of Rome was established to promote Chinese language 
and teaching and culture in Iran. In China, the teaching of the Persian at the Pagan University officially began in the night. In 1957, and the large number of the students were attracted to this discipline. As a result of the which more 200 people graduated in the, this language and were trained to work at different centers, including the Finance Ministry, Cultural Organization, Radio, Television, Economic Developments, and the Research Centers, and the engaging in scientific trade or their interaction with the Iran. At the present, eight colleges and the universities have opened the Persian majors in the China. Translation of classic literature is also considered cornerstone of the cultural exchange between China and Iran. Many Chinese and Persian classics have been translated and published. The most prominent uh, literary books selected for purpose of the conducting studies and research on the Persian language and the literature by Bolistani Saadi, Bustani Saadi, Rawayat Khaya, Divan Rudaki, Fazaliyat Hafiz, Masmani, Manani, Mulana, Kaladil Bakhi, all which were transferred into Chinese and awarded and were awarded for uh, the highest prize in the 10th National Book Festival of Europe in the year of 2013, and the first prize in the Festival of Foreign Literature. Some Chinese scholars successively won um, the Iran Book Translation Award in the Tehran. We should consider the mutual translation of Chinese and Persian Farsi classic helps to strengthen culture and understanding between the two nations. According to a survey, many Chinese books were published around 619 in Iran. Research also on the Persian religion given a lot of importance in China. Almost the books written in the uh, Eastern literature have dedicated uh, one informal section to Persian literature of Iran and its history. history. Uh, another point about the Encourage the second is the encourage of the mutual understanding people to people uh, throughout the tourism cooperation. The tourist market in Europe has excellent potential for development. By 2020, Iran has become all born uh, tourism destination for Chinese citizens and the tour business. Businesses in Iran have been officially set up in the district of Iran ranks 10th of the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List. In recent years, the number of the Chinese tourists uh, to Iran uh, visited Iran and uh, has increased significantly. Uh, in the 2018, at least 50,000 Chinese tourists visited Iran. And another point is about the uh, Dialogue of civilization in China and Iran religious uh, religious exchanges. Since establishment of the diplomatic relations between China and Iran, over the years, friendly relations between China and Iran have been developing continuously. And the religious exchanges are also and in this principle in this uh, in this uh, principle. Part of the religious uh, exchanges help to encourage of the cultural exchanges and they contribute the dialogue of civilization between China and Iran. In this regard, Peru's president of Iran, Dr. Khatami, approach to dialogue of the civilization as the powerful vehicle uh, power, uh, in the in contrast to end of the history and the clash, uh, clash of the civilizations the theories. Uh, the dialogue, uh, the dialogue between the Islam and Taoism, Confucianism is running between the two countries, and that there is a friendly cooperation with the Chinese Islamic Association. The registered Chinese religious students in the remarkable in the home and the Mashhad cities in Iran, and in China, some aspect of the theory of the dialogue among the civilizations should be noted that this is. Theory compatible uh, with the Confucian theory, peaceful coexistence, the idea of peaceful of the coexistence 
is uh, one of the traditional cultural principles of the China, and the people of the current, this country uh, have uh, uh, since times uh, uh, in the elder look at the unity among the men and the heathens, uh, moderation, moderation of the peace, unity among the men and the heathens refers to the fact that men has to live with the peaceful coexisting with the nature while it is uh, also emphasizing peace and friendship among the human beings. Uh, in the year of 2005, China introduced the theory of coexisting based society, an idea deeply rooted in the traditional way of the thinking and the Chinese people. Uh, it combines with the theory of the dialogue among the civilization and the Chinese way thinking with rebuild the world and the Chinese civilization have the main common such values as the peace, justice, coexistence, and the mutual respect emphasized uh, upon, uh, upon uh, and form some important cultural elements by both sides. Um, this is exactly Dr. Khatami's approach to dialogue of civilization uh, emphasizes, and another uh, my point is the enhancing national image uh, throughout China and Iran media exchanges. Uh, national uh, image as a critical source of the soft power has been paid close attention in China. In this regard, China new national image shaping the, the framework of the ambitions. BNR, uh, China, Iran. And media exchanges have the various forms and the rich content, including radio, film, television, online media, press, publication, more. Radio program between the Iran and China are uh, a sort of public diplomacy, which helps Iranian better understand the actual image of the Chinese development, as well as BNR, China, aims to separate of the cultural value of the benevolence, humanity, and the tolerance. Now, eight years have passed since a Chinese Radio International co-produced the Persian program Oriental Prayer with the Iran Cultural Broadcasting, Broadcasting Company, which is broadcasted weekly at the fixed time to introduce Chinese culture and the today's China to Iranian audience. Um, I have, because we don't have much time, I have to pass on the this. Uh, Yes. Um, um, in the 2015 uh, assigning ceremony was held in the Tehran of the bilateral contracts for two countries to uh, co-produce of the film Shaoli during the Chinese uh, phenomenon uh, Philharmonic uh, Orchestra Secure to visit Iran and they performed together to the Tehran. Symphony Orchestra. Um, uh, Iranian perspective on BNR. Iran is Chinese second largest, uh, first of all, uh, Iran is the uh, Chinese the second largest trade partner in the Middle East. Iran accepted BNR as a strategic opportunity for its region. Iran also views it as a, an important potential role in creating a balance of the power in, the, in this international political economy because historically Iran has been an important country on the Silk Road. Um, uh, so uh, DNR uh, could help Iran uh, revive uh, its geo-economic status uh, status, uh, situation, sorry, geoeconomic situation. In the 2016, during the President Xi Jinping visit to Tehran, Chinese leaders stressed that China and the Iran were natural partners as far as the implementation of the BNR was concerned. He also called both sides 
to boost uh, cooperation, infrastructure, interconnectivity, production, capacity, and energy in framework of the DNR. In response, the leader of Iran, Abdullah Khamenei, said that Iran would push the bilateral practical cooperation to a new high. Uh, to, to a new high. Soon after that, President Xi met President Rouhani and signed 17 multi billion dollar agreement. Iran considers the initiative, uh, initiative uh, this initiative, an important opportunity, opportunity to promote its development and the region's development. Iranian leader Abdullah Khamenei referred to BNR as a wild idea and they welcome the cooperation of the countries in the family. Iranian President Rouhani has also repeatedly spoken about the necessity uh, of Iran and China cooperation in the peace project. Iran's uh, positive view on BNR at the strategic level could be calculated as a precondition for operational and the technical cooperation between the two nations as well. Image of China and Iran, another home. So, uh, Dr. Koshu, just to let you know that we have five more minutes for your talk, uh -huh. we can move to the Q&A. So yeah, just let you know. Yes, thank you, sorry about that. And so uh, I would like to mention about the image of the China. Uh, we have a uh, it should be noted China and Iran relations have generally been positive and friendly since the official ties in 1967. China is one of the countries that has a special importance in the Iranian mentality due to ancient ties between the two countries, and there are no negative historical experiences in the dissertation. Um, um, I would like, uh, I wanted to make some points on the challenges of the cultural exchanges between China and Iran, the below explanation. Um, the first is that cultural exchanges between China and Iran is, uh, are still subordinate to political economic discussion. Second, the issue becomes more understandable if we regard the country and the Confucian Center as the symbol of the Chinese cultural interaction with the other countries. There are 541 uh, centers in the worldwide, but although one of these branches has been established in the Tehran, just in the Tehran University, uh, it still doesn't offer many culture and the educational activities. Third, it seems that neither China nor Iranian priorities to each other, the cultural exchanges. In this step, in, in, uh, both sides focus on the cultural exchanges with their respective neighboring countries. For Iranian, they were very crucial partner have for cultural deals with Islamic countries. For China, they are still southeastern countries. Uh, two countries will uh, do, uh, don't plan to hold a regular celebration for this other's cultural deals. And in the tourism sector between China and Iran is essential. Unfortunately, there are only four flights per week between Iran and China. And last but not least, culture exchange between China and Iran need to mobilize non-governmental organizations. In recent years, culture exchanges between China and Iran have been more official than non-governmental, resulting in official ties while low non-governmental. In addition to existing top-down cultural exchange mechanism, it is necessary to promote the exchange between the two sides from bottom to top, with the ordinary Chinese and the Iran people as their uh, predominant players. Um, thank you for your attention and your patience. Thank you.